So this is the third part of the third lecture. We started from Z test when sigma is known we use Z test for confidence interval and we use this formula then we did if sigma is unknown if sigma is unknown then we use sample standard deviation and we denote it by s and we use t formula and it takes this form and now we are using proportion we are constructing confidence interval for population proportion and nothing different what we will do we will again use the same formula but in this case we will write here proportion plus minus z alpha by 2 times pi 1 minus pi over n and z alpha by 2 is same as this one and we always use z test for the proportion so here sigma p is pi times 1 minus pi times and we will estimate this with sample data we will estimate this with the sample data in the previous slide i wrote the wrong formula i wrote here i wrote pi 1 minus pi but we will use this formula so i think formula will be z alpha by 2 times p 1 minus p over n. let's see what is the okay yeah so this is the formula for population proportion z alpha by 2 we know its value p is the sample proportion and n is the sample size so we saw one simple example a random sample of 100 people so n is 100 shows that 25 are left-handed so p is 25 over 100 so 1 minus p will be 75 over 100 construct 95 percent confidence interval so z alpha by 2 which is for 95 percent is 1.96 so we will simply substitute the values p plus minus z alpha by 2 times p 1 minus p by m so we know p is 0.25 plus minus 1.96.25.75 by 100 so that is our confidence interval for the population proportion as you can see here all the calculation is done so this is how we construct the confidence interval for population proportion i make a summary for population proportion we always use z test and the formula is like this and proportion is x over and x is the characteristics in which we are interested in and is the total sample size so here 25 were left handed out of 100 so x was 25 100 was the total sample so we are 95 percent confident that true percentage of left handed of the population is between this and this <coughs> So, this is how we construct the confidence interval for the proportions.